Ladies and gentlemen, the eardrums is now being blessed with the sounds of back trunk records. I am your host for this evening, Mr. Zeno Malone, along with my co-host, the up and coming prince. And right now, the topic of discussion is ballers. If you a baller, let me see you get your hands in the sky right now. If you a wanna be, please exit the building right now. Thick juice sippers, bobbers and rollers. Who's a baller slamming Cadillac dough? Back trunk, back trunk, back trunk, back. It's real music shit in this back trunk shit. Back trunk records has the best rappers in the city. Hey, y'all look out for my man Zeno, man. He's doing it real big in the city right now, sir. If you know me, you know back trunk records, you know we're about to know what it is. Don't get fucked up. Name is Zeno Malone, and I'm also the CEO of Back Trunk Records and the artist of Back Trunk Records. Well, back trunk originated from, I say, around 95, 96 era, um, on the whole No Limit era where their whole movement was based upon uh, starting from the back trunk in every city and every state, working their way up to the top. Um, during that time, I was still in school, middle school to be exact, but that whole No Limit, you know what I'm saying, inspired me to do a whole lot. And that's where Back Trunk originated from, to start off, where it all starts off in the trunk of your car. Like I said, 95, 96, I was still in middle school, I started off with a karaoke and a Casio, you know what I'm saying, keyboard. Really had no experience on stage, you know what I'm saying, performances. Really no network, you know what I'm saying, just a, just a hunger to, to be a part of something. And we've grown from just rapping on a Casio uh, keyboard and a karaoke to, I mean, doing things and networking with major people. I mean, doing shows in front of, you know what I'm saying, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. So it's like, we grown. We've done so much from not having anything to now having a website, you know, um, and from the radio promotion on the radio, we get studio time, people offering us studio time, we doing uh, clothing lines, want to do business with us, you know, so it's like, it's all coming together. Oh my shit, get on your shit, so I know you going It's not about music no more, it's about business. Even though Back Trunk Records, you know, we got our business straight, but other people ain't seeing it. So we ain't got a million dollars to throw at them to spend our music, but I mean, it should be all love, it should be for the love of music. I think a lot of people are misguided and focused when it comes down to this industry. The key elements is exposure. We gotta get some exposure. We had some exposure with uh, Zeno on the 95.9. Freestyle Friday, Battle of the Beast. Now we got a uh, deuce on there. So, I mean, the name is being known. It's just it's the city that we're in. It's, it's kind of tough to get the right exposure because it's a go-go town. See, the thing about it, man, we all got to stick together. You know what I mean? If you know somebody to know somebody to know somebody, that makes everything more simple, more cool, like a domino effect. I believe Payola has a, has a big part in it. Uh, you have uh, major companies who pay off a lot of radio stations. Uh, I believe a lot, especially a lot of the southern states, have just have that natural, you know what I'm saying, southern hospitality. They show love to their own people. You don't get that a lot of times up here. So it's a lot of crabs in a bucket up here who want to hold, hold another back, you know what I'm saying? And that's the problem we're facing today. It's all about money. That's what, that's what, they, that's what the radio stations, and it's sad to say, around here are like. They don't want to support a local rap artist in the area. There's more than one way to skin a cat, that's how I look at it. I don't I don't def, I definitely don't cry and complain about them not playing our music because I'm gonna get around that wall regardless. Stop having this crab mentality where we bring each other down, all that hating, you know what I'm saying? We all gotta stick together. Behind this company, we plan on taking it so much further as far as the community. I'm working on a clothing line now that I'm trying to drop this winter, so look out for it. The name is Trash. It's called Trash, and it's actually a movement behind the clothing line. It's going to be something real serious or whatever. I'm trying to organize marches, rallies for women's rights, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of things going on here as far as giving back to the community. We got to get some spins on the record, on the radio. We got the songs, the songs that we give into the radio is probably the hottest songs. Once we accomplish that, we're gonna, we gonna take over. Once we get in, once we get our foot in the door, it's over. It's a wrap. We're gonna be locked down. The whole industry. Right now, the champ Zito Malone back trunk records. What you got, man? Yeah, yeah. 
Yo, yo, y'all got me twisted. This is a mismatch. I don't care who you are, you getting pimp smack. Real talk, your girl want me to hit that. But she probably got that good zap. Yep, yep. Yo, I bet it burn like Usher. If I had three brothers on, I still wouldn't touch her. Come on, yo, you oh so funny. I beat that ass down like you stole something from me. My goons outside, I'll let you hold something money. You know it ain't money when it open up your tummy. Paramedics come by, they rap like a mummy. Uh, I throw punches like listen. Dirty, funny, dirty, dirty, dirty. Fun, dirty. <laughs> That's the champ right there, Zeno Malone. If you're feeling him, here's what you do. I want you to text the number, the digit, the numeral two, the nine seven four two one.